What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brown Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, uh, we made a small tour right here of uh, the No City Gym, I think. Uh, let me see. Let me see this town map. Yeah, Route 57, you can find a gym. Normal type Pokemon, second to last gym leader, and yeah, they are powerful AF. Holy crud, I never, ever, 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 never, ever, ever thought that it would go my way, but I did it! I finally did it. I defeated the seventh gym leader, so now it is time for us to go west of this place and see what we get, what else we can actually find. And well, let's see. Here we are in this location, and let's see, we gotta check the whole town map right here. Town, uh, Route 56. And I believe that this one will actually lead us straight to, let's see, hold on just a second. I really do hate this map right here. And... To Igloo City. And, well, it looks like it's going to take a while. It might take a while. So let's go right ahead and just start surfing and start doing some business right here. Um, if you guys haven't seen, in the last episode... Yeah, the majority of these Pokemon are at level 40 and 50. So we need to start training right now. And he's like, oh no! Okay. Alrighty. Let's go. And here we have Speedo Torpedo at level 41. Good gravy. Okay, so we are, we're going to be doing some work right here, guys. Now, as I'm talking, I'm doing all this, the summer hacks continue. And, uh, well, as I am recording this, it is a day after my birthday. And, well... I want to say thank you guys again for following me, for throwing out the birthday uh, wishes and whatnot. I am really appreciative, and uh, you know, whenever this video comes out, I don't know when. I just want to say I hope you guys enjoyed what what is to come because uh, yeah, good old Draven is stepping it up with uh, the well with the material and all that stuff, and this guy has an almost star. Holy crud! Okay, so let's go. I'm really digging this one right here. I am really digging this one. So yeah, guys. Uh, I'm definitely stepping it up with everything that I am doing. And it's not because I want to make this my life's work or anything like that. It's just because I enjoy it. And... Well, I enjoy it. And it is actually... Uh, huh, I don't even know how to pronounce it. I don't even know how to say it. But I enjoy it. And I see potential in it. As well as the other stuff that I, I'm doing. I'm not just a YouTuber, guys. I'm a gym owner. I am a... What else? Hmm. I'm a football coach. I run a weight room. Uh, hell, I, I do... Uh, what was it called? Uh, yeah, I do mock-ups on the side. You know, football mock-ups. I run a, no, a football team. Yeah, I do a lot of stuff, guys. And yeah, with this, this is actually... I'm hoping this actually helps out with... You know, uh, this actually helps out with... Uh, everything else that I need and well this lady right here saying the water is shallow here okay so here we go again another speedo torpedo coming out with a cloister and one thing that I have uh, well one thing that I have enjoyed about this game so far is the the Pokemon that are being stepped up in this in this whole thing um, normally you would see pre-evolved Pokemon in the in, in every single location and look at that Sunny's grown to level 40 and it kind of bugged me just a little just because um well it bugged me just a little because it's like you know I mean you could just step it up with evolutions and whatnot and they did right here in Pokemon Brown they stepped it up big time especially with like some Pokemon that you never ever felt like uh, take on so you know Hold on, just a sec. Getting my butt kicked right here. So yeah, I'm, I'm definitely enjoying this walkthrough right here with Pokemon Brown. And come on, Sunny! Okay, come on. By the way, uh, you can actually find a Chinchou at the power plant. So I may or may not be thinking of be, uh, doing that. I don't know. I may or may not be thinking of doing that. Uh, and look at that. Swimmer has been defeated. Okay. So yeah, they, they've definitely stepped it up right here, guys. And I think the next game in this whole sequel, or in the, the sequels this, is Pokemon Prism. Never even played it before. Don't even know what it's all about. And, well, hopefully, hopefully, somewhere down the line, we, we can actually play that game. Don't usually have a lot of time for a lot of games, but 
except for this, the summer hacks, so we'll see what happens. We shall see what happens right here, guys. And well, here it is, another battle against uh, Beauty herself, and she is coming out with a Seedra. Good thing we have Kid Thunder in its fully evolved form. Let's go Thunder Attack. Ah, uh, yes, I love this attack when it's accurate. And, well, there goes Seedra. It's supposed to be fast, but not really. And here comes a Vaporeon. So, yeah, you know what? Let's go with, Let's go ahead and use Kid Thunder just to destroy everybody right here. Look at this. Oh, uh, yeah. Say goodbye to Vaporeon. Nope, not really. And here comes an Acid Armor. This one will, yeah, increase its defense. Stand full right here. And Thunder Shock. Not super effective. And, well, there's that water gun. And, well, let's go finish it off with one more thunder. Now, Kid Thunder is typically a physically strong Pokemon right here. So, hopefully, hopefully, he'll learn something pretty good right here. And they're coming out with a Dugong Gong. And, well, let's go with another thunder attack. And that misses, finally. And that Aurora Beam is not my friend right now. So, here we go. Come on, Thunder! And, yeah, right now, Kid Thunder is getting his butt kicked. Got his butt kicked again. Okay. <sighs> okay, right here to Sunny. I guess Sunny has to do everything. Let's go with the Razor Leaf. And here it goes. Razor Leaf hits it pretty hard. And, oh, almost defeats this guy. And here comes an Aurora Beam. Of course, it's also strong against my Pokemon. And, well... Body slam for the win. There we go. There's the experience points. And Sunny, yeah, victorious right here. So, anywho, guys, other things that I've been noticing is that, you know, well, other things that I've been trying to improve on is the editing onto this whole thing. The video editing. You'd normally see me edit out a lot, of, or not edit out a lot of the stuff that goes on into the game. I usually just show you know, being attacked by Pokemon and all that stuff. Kind of like in the last two to three episodes. But I've been making the improvement to actually, you know, add just a little bit more to this, uh, to my walkthroughs. Like, you guys now have started seeing my, uh, my links to my, uh, my social medias. That's going on, so make sure to follow me on, uh, all three sites right there. No, I do not have a TikTok. <laughs> do not have a TikTok. I'm not really that popular to be on TikTok. And, well, here we have another guy. And this guy's on vacation. Okay, alrighty, let's go. Bring it on. Bring it on. And here we have Junior Trainer Female coming with her Vaporeon. Alright. Let's get it. Thunder. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. Thunder, come on. Finish it, finish it, finish it. Yes, it did. It finished it. You see that? It finished it. And look at that, we are now at level 40 with Kid Thunder right here, and well, coming out with an Star. this is pretty new. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon to good old Sunny right here. Now, is there anything else that I need to do right here? Now, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that I'm, I probably skipped over a few things, like who the actual PC, uh, like the PC, who does it belong to? Who made it possible? Might be the professor, I don't know. Level 41, Sunny, look at that. Trying to learn growth, I am not going to teach him that. All right, and well, coming out with another Vaporeon, so let's go ahead and uh, take care of that. Let's go ahead and do this whole Razor Leaf thing again. Uh, let's see, what else am I saying? Yeah, like the, the, the video editing, the socials and all that stuff you guys have seen it I'm very impressed that I can act well the, the now I'm in actually including that uh, shoot tell me like okay comment down below if you guys want to see something else onto my like included into my videos as you guys already saw you know different things and look at this we've defeated another junior trainer and I'm feeling good about that alrighty okay so I guess we're gonna be battling everybody Oh wow, okay, so it looks like we got two more trainers. Let's go right ahead and take on the or you know what, let's let's see what Pokemon we can find right here. I want to see. I'm going left and right. Maybe we'll find a missing no. I don't know. And no, it's a tentacle. As usual. Never mind. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here and put on another repel right here. Okay, there you go. Repel and Bring it on. I love 
love floating with the fishes. Then you'll love sleeping with the fishes, too. Okay, so here we go. Another beauty wants to battle, and she's coming out with her Sea King at level 46. So, uh, it, to me, it kind of... Th this game is kind of telling me that you probably have to step it up with uh, training your Pokemon a little. I don't know. Look at that. That was easy. Okay. Alrighty, never mind. Youch! Okay, alrighty. So, got one more trainer right here. I will win. Ha ha ha! Oh, damn. Okay, so here we go with another swimmer, and he's coming out with a Starmie right here. Okay, let's go, Kid Thunder. Do it for the Kid Thunders out there. And here's a hardened attack, and here comes a uh, thunder attack from Kid Thunder. And, oh shit, oh god, okay. And, well, I didn't mean to use that. But, there we go. And look at that, Kid Thunder grows to level 41. And yes, it looks like we're gonna have to like really, 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 really step it up with the with the training and all that crud. And well, there's two more trainers there. I kinda wanna see what's up here. Alright, what's this? Huh. People often lose things in that underground path. Okay, so if we go here. Oh wow, okay. Jesus Christ. Okay, so we're gonna have to check this out right here because I don't know. Let's see, we're just gonna have to like run through this and see what we can actually find right now. And here we go. Talk to this guy. Hi, do you have a needle queen? Wanna check okay, so yeah, we've already been here before. Huh. Would you look at that? We are back in Moraga Town, and yeah, okay, so so that explains that. Let's go right ahead and go back to where we were supposed to go, and hopefully, hopefully not get uh, dis well, hopefully not get destroyed by anybody else. And this guy is waiting for us. I came from Moraga Town. Okay, all right. Here we go, going up against a bird keeper, and well, he's coming with his Pidgey. This should be easy for me now that, you know, we got a level 22 right here. So let's go with the Thundershock. Here comes the quick attack. Oh yes, oh yes, look at that, okay. Pidgey, destroyed, defeated. And well, let's see, here we go again, another Pidgeotto. So let's go ahead and continue on with Kid Thunder right here. Same attack. Yeah, there's no need for us to actually use Thunder right now, especially when, you know, it's not that strong. And, well, let's see. Coming out with a Doe Duo. You can actually capture a Dodrio near the uh, No Name <laughs> no -named Town uh, gym. And, well, look at that. Doe Duo defeated as well. And, well, we've defeated a Bird Keeper. And to me, it kind of looks like we're a little bit close to where we need to be. Hold on. Yeah, okay. Alright, so... Before we do anything, let's go ahead and switch out. Let's go straight to our other Pokemon right here. I kind of want to use them. Since, you know, we've been using our both of our electric and... You know, electric and uh, grass type Pokemon right here. And, well, let's go ahead and keep on going and going. And our Repel has worn off. I do not want to look at that right now. The White Badge. Seriously, the White Badge. Huh. You know, they couldn't have come up with something better, like, you know, the plain badge. That's already been taken. The normal badge. I think that's already taken, too. The abnormal badge. Should be ironic. I don't know. All right, let's go. Taking on a dugong at level 44. And uh, that wasn't... Oh, gravy. That wasn't strong enough. Wow. All right, let's go with a noise pulse. And... That was strong enough, and... Okay, so, let's see. Sound types, are they good against water or ice types? Who knows? And, come on, confuse, homie. Confuse! Alright, here we go. Noise pulse. Get it, come on! And I, I would assume that it's a physical attack right here, so... We're just gonna keep on throwing this attack out. Come on, confuse, confuse, get gravy, okay. 
That's getting in the lane. So let's go right to a side beam. Come on. There we go. Super strong. And there we go with some points. And uh, Azumarill's coming out. Yeah, let's go straight to Sunny for this one right here. Okay, so how you doing there, Azumarill? It has been a while. Time to eat some Razor Leaf right here. Now, I kind of want to actually have two teams on this. I think I can. I kind of maybe uh, want to capture some Johto Pokemon, which I kind of didn't do. And, well, here comes a Feraligator. Oh, wow. Feraligator, level 44. Now, here's something uh, interesting, guys. I don't remember uh, what, what town it was. I think it was Hayward? No, not Hayward. There's a town or a city where you can actually go and, uh, you know, get some Pokemon for coins. I checked it out. You can actually buy two kinds of Eevees. I don't know why. And let's see, a Tyrogue. And you can actually get yourself a starter Pokemon as well from the Johto region. It can be Cyndaquil, Chikorita, or Totodile. And, well, I'm kind of thinking about it. But for me, I think in this game, I, like, I kind of want to keep it close to where I'm having Pokemon with multiple abilities to go up at, against these guys. And there we go. Tentacruel defeated. And, well, look at that. It's gonna come out with a Sea King. So let's go straight to Kid Thunder right here. Now, for me, it looks like it might be a team of multiple, uh, multiple typings. Like, you know, water, electric, poison, and grass, that kind of stuff. That might happen. It might happen pretty soon right here because, uh, the way that everything is looking right here, yeah. It's looking a little tough. And, well, let's see. More trainers. Good gravy. Yeah, there are more trainers, and I'm not trying to skip everybody, but there is the exit. Okay, so there's just one trainer left. Let's go ahead and, uh, you know, battle this guy right here. All right. Do, 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 and it's a beauty. Coming out with her Seeking. All right, Ultra Psycho, you can do this. Finish it off with the side beam right here, and bam. That right there, okay, so that's a sign. Okay, let's see what noise that noise pulse can do. It's super effective against water type Pokemon. And that does not bode well right there. Come on, oh crap. And well, here comes another supersonic. Not really. Come on. Noise pulse. Noise pulse. Damn you. Alright, let's go ahead and speed this. God dang it. Spoil it. Yeah, we're just... Okay, so we grew to level 37. Let's go Lantern, and, well, let's go straight to the person that can actually have a you know, chance against this guy. Lantern against Sunny, and here we go, Razor Leaf. Alrighty, Razor Leaf for the win. And, no, it's almost there for the win, and here comes a takedown. There we go. Oh, yes. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. We have done it. And there goes another beauty. Okay, so... That right there, I think that's the last of them. Hopefully. Yes, it is. And... Look at this. Igaloo City, guys. The totally underrated city. I don't know what this is. Something pushes you. Huh. So we can't go in there just yet. Don't know what that is all about. And park... Oh, wow. Okay. And let's see. Rumor has it, or rumor is that a mist stone can break the barrier. A mist stone. Okay, so that's something news in. Huh. Okay, I do not. Yeah, I do not want to do this right now. I kind of want to do it in the next episode. And let's see. The Igalo Park is a great place to catch Pokemon. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, I'm assuming that's. That's the area where we were at. And let's see, what is this? Oh, this is the Igalo Park. Okay, so for just 500, catch. Okay, so this is pretty much the replacement for the Safari Zone. I don't know what these caves are, are, uh, are for, but we're going to save it right here, guys. 
stay tuned in the next episode we're going to be exploring Igalo town in all its or Igalo city in all its glory and hopefully just hopefully you know we'll catch some new and interesting pokemon add some to the team you know make it an actual team that you know we can be proud of right here in pokemon brown so thank you guys for watching i will see you guys hold on just a sec come on next time see you guys